<laughs> Phew. What's that, Pom Pom? Uh, just got a message from the Xian Shou La Fu. Looks like it'll conflict with our original schedule. It's been a while, my friends on the Astral Express. How's your trailblazing expedition going? Soon, the Sienjo Lawfu will be holding the Luminary War Dance. Those who have aided the Lawfu in overcoming the crisis are cherished allies of the Sienjo. Thus, on behalf of the Seat of Divine Foresight, I'm extending an invitation to attend the ceremony. Your presence would be greatly appreciated. Well, things aren't getting lively. We've barely recovered from the family's Charmony Festival, and we're already being invited to another special event. Why not think about it this way? Our trailblazing expeditions are turning into blast expeditions, where we eat, drink, and play wherever we go. Blast? Expedition? Yeah! Wherever we go, we eat, play, and have a blast! So we should leave March behind to take care of the Express? Uh, hey! That's not what I meant! I'm all for some fun! I just hope there won't be any surprise party crashers, like... Friday or Saturday! The Sienjo Lawfu has recently overcome a crisis. By holding the war dance, they're demonstrating to everyone that they've returned to a state of peace and safety. But that's what everyone said before we went to Penacony! You'll be totally safe under the family's protection! No need to worry. The war dance is not like the Charmony Festival with all its hidden secrets. It's just a festival to honor the Rainbow Arbiter and the Cloud Knights, who fought against the Abominations of Abundance and protected the Xianzhou ships. Aside from Star Skiff performances, it's mostly martial contests. Nothing too different from the Taikian Roboball contest we've seen before. What do you think, Himiko? Since we've accepted Miss Black Swan's proposal, we should probably head to Amphorius for refueling. Certainly no rush. This trailblazing expedition is quite unique, and the Express needs to be fully stocked and prepared before moving on to the next stop. With Madame Herta's help, I was planning to deliver some Leviathan fossils from Kalinga Abyss to Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society. It could earn us some favors before we set off. However, it may take a few weeks. Ah, so that means... We're not going to the Lawfu. Being an adult means maintaining relationships. Whether we like it or not, March. Since we've been invited, it's only right for the Astral Express to attend the ceremony. So, here's the plan. Pom Pom will take everyone to the Sienjo Lafu. Mr. Yang and I will meet up with Ron Mei and fulfill our promise. Meanwhile, you, March, and Don Hung will represent the Express and attend the war dance. What do you two think? <laughs> I don't hear any objections. Now that everyone's on board with the plan, it's time to warp to the Xianzhou La Fu! Kalinga Abyss? What does she expect to find there? Current research on the Leviathan merely proves how little we know about such life forms. That's why geniuses are interested in that field. Science is all about uncovering the unknown. Don't miss us too much. <laughs> if I stumble upon some cool leviathan fossils, 
I'll bring a few back as souvenirs for you. Himeko really knows how to convince people. <laughs> Between Leviathan fossils and the war dance, the latter definitely sounds more fun. Uh, by the way, Don Hung, this time you'll be taking a stroll with us on the Lafu, right? <laughs> and just let you two wander around aimlessly on the Lofu by yourselves? <laughs> I don't think so. Plus, Mr. Yang is right. The Ambrosial Arbor Crisis just ended, and both the Long Life and Short Life species are still feeling uneasy. And that's why Jing Yuan wants to organize the war dance, to show that the Xianzhou Lo Fu is stable and safe. And uh, since he has extended an invitation, it's only right that I visit my old friend. to this place brings back so many memories, you know? Uh, hey, I'm not actually gonna recite a poem. I was just thinking about all the twists and turns we went through when we first arrived on the Sienjo. This time, we're not being forced or enticed or chasing after wanted criminals. And we didn't have to sneak in through the cargo dock. This trip has been incredibly smooth. Quite unusual, I must say. I agree. Always this crowded? Oh, there are so many people here. I can barely hear anything. Yanqing said General Jingyuan sent him to welcome us, but where is he? Let's wait for him in front of the loom. It's the most prominent landmark on the dock. Hey, you guys! Hold on a moment! Uh, did they just call us? Look at their outfits. They're from Peniconi, right? Are you familiar with the Sienjo Lafu? <laughs> we know a little bit about it. What do you need? We are from Peniconi. Maybe you've heard of it. We came to this ship to gather interesting materials for making dream bubbles. Oh, we just left there. Oh, talk about coincidence! That's great! Do you know any must-see attractions on the Lofu? Exactly! We're Sienjo experts! Uh, most of the tourists around at the moment are here to attend the war dance. And that's why we're here, too. Yeah, we know about that ceremony. But isn't the fighting ring still closed? I've heard the ring was actually converted from a huge decommissioned Lafu fighter jet. The Radiant Feldspar is bigger, I guess. But for now, all we can do is wait until the war dance starts in a few weeks, before we can board it. We've still got work to do, so we can't just sit around waiting for it to start. That's why we're asking you about some must-see attractions. We're looking for unique experiences that you won't find on Peniconi. Our clients love these kinds of dream bubbles the most. Uh, you're the expert here. <laughs> Give them some suggestions. That's indeed a good idea. While the dreamscape on Peniconi is all artificial, Scale Gorge Waterscape is a celebration of nature's resurgence. It has some remarkable scenery. Awesome! I love being out there in nature. Let's go to Scale Gorge Waterscape first. I'm 
a bit worried that nature-themed dream bubbles might be outdated. But hey, let's go check it out anyway. See you later. Maybe we'll run into each other there in a few days. Uh, look, Yan Ching's here. Uh, really? Let's go catch up with him! There you are! Everyone, this way! Hey, everyone! It's been a while! Well, it doesn't feel like it's been that long since we last saw you! But, Yen Ching, are you...? What's up, Miss March? Uh, they say kids grow up really fast. Uh, Yen Ching, are you a little bit taller than before? <sighs> We've only been away for a few months. A long time no see! It's been a while. Oh, you've come along too, Mr. Don Hung. Sorry for the delay. With the upcoming war dance and the Starskiff Haven being so busy, things are a little hectic. Seriously, I've never seen the La Fu so lively before. I was a bit worried that holding the war dance right after the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis might be too soon. But, seeing the bustling Starskiff Haven, I understand why General Jing Yuan chose this timing. Yep. There's people from other delves and travelers like you three who have come from afar. With the war dance coming up, there's a huge number of visitors pouring into the Starskiff Haven. The Cloud Knights are working hard to keep the security tight. The General said this ceremony would help the Sienjo Lafu recover from the crisis. It's a way to showcase our martial spirit, reassure people, boost morale, and attract visitors from other planets to promote trade and peace. By the way, the Sienjo Alliance places great importance on this ceremony, too. The Sienjo ships, the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing, have both sent messengers to offer their blessings. Yeah, I wonder if you've heard of it. It's known as the Star Forge, and it's responsible for providing more than half of the Cloud Knight's armaments. The Sienjo Zhu Ming boasts skilled craftsmasters, and General Huayan is a top-notch craftsman himself. Ah, if only I could get a sword forged by him, I'd be on Cloud Nine. By the way, Yenqing, where are we headed next? Ah, uh, I'm sorry for talking your ear off. The General wants to catch up with you at the Palace of Astrum. He's been eager to hear about how the Express has been doing. <laughs> it's funny how he tries to act all mature. But whenever it comes to something he's interested in, you can really see his childish side. <laughs> I agree. All units, assemble quickly! Get ready to protect the crowd! Huh. I just mentioned security, and now all of a sudden something's gone wrong. Excuse me. I need to go check out the situation. Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Um, we'll go with you. This ends now. 
those with the loaded gun, and those who dig the little grave. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! On the still waters of oblivion. For the help? Uh, uh, sorry, no time to chat. Uh, could you give me back my? Uh. Wait, my sword! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we'll have to put our plans on hold for now. I need to find out what's going on. While we appreciate your rescue, my CN Joe friends, don't you think it's a bit too much to detain us and our cargo? Sorry, but we've been ordered to detain you and your cargo for inspection until we figure out the source of the attack. Once we're done with the formalities, we'll let you and your cargo go. Oh, but this shipment isn't even meant for the Lafu. And it's IPC's patented technology. Who do you think you are to conduct an inspection? According to the protocol, all cargo arriving on the Lawfu must go through inspection. Oh, but we didn't officially enter your dock at all. We just sought refuge in your dock because we were attacked by the Borisans. <sighs> Looks like this argument could go on forever. Let's not get involved in a heated dispute that won't lead to a resolution. Who's in charge here? I need some answers. It's my fault. We let our guard down for a moment. I take full responsibility. With the war dance approaching, safety should be a top priority. Now, tell me, how did Boris and prisoners end up in Starskiff Haven? According to the protocol, Boris and prisoners should be held on a Starskiff and taken directly to the Shackling Prison under strict supervision without ever touching the ground. Who allowed a prisoner transport ship to dock at the passenger terminal? Please don't blame this, Captain. This incident involves the Chu Ming's diplomatic vessel. Who are you? I'm Lu Jun, an officer of the Patrol Defense Squad. Thank you for your help, Lieutenant Yen Ching. The situation unfolded rapidly, and it shouldn't be held against the captain. Here's what happened. An IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison just before arriving, and the Ju Ming's diplomatic vessel came to the rescue. They fought off the Borison pirates and imprisoned them on their ship. So, an IPC ship was attacked by the Borison near the Lafu, and the Ju Ming envoy saved them? Uh, sounds complicated. Honestly, it gives me a headache too. The Ju Ming diplomatic ship, adhering to standard procedure, docked at the passenger terminal to hand these criminals over to the Law Fu. You know, with all the outsiders flooding onto the Law Fu, the Starskiff lanes are under immense pressure. The Borison Desperados decided to put up a fight before the prisoner transport Starskiff could get there. And that's what you just witnessed. We'll make sure these prisoners are sent to the Shackling Prison as soon as possible. I see. It's an unusual situation indeed. I'll report it to the Security Department of the Realm Keeping Commission, and ask for their cooperation in handling the aftermath. 
maybe I should gather more details from others so that the seed of divine foresight can have a better understanding of the situation. Oh, you look much mature now, Yenching. Please don't tease me, Miss March. The situation on the Sienjo before the war dance is like a calm lake that can be disturbed by even the smallest pebble, capable of generating far-reaching ripples with even the slightest disturbance. What are those people... I mean, those monsters we just dealt with? Yeah, those werewolf monsters are known as Borison. They are abominations of abundance, and we've been fighting them for a very long time. The Borison have been a powerful force for a long time, plundering and enslaving many worlds. The threat they pose is just as terrible as the Swarm Disaster, and the Alliance even had a fierce war with them three decades ago. And their presence has faded over the years, but who would have thought? According to that officer, they attacked an IPC ship near the Senjo Lo Fu. Such a brazen attack seems quite unusual to me. Yeah, that's what I find strange too. It seems like the IPC and the Borison have some serious grudges. Well, enough with the chit chat. The General wants me to take you to the Palace of Astrum. I'd love to chit-chat a little longer, but there are some things that can't be left unchecked. Hmm? Is it a serious matter? Maybe you'll need our help in hunting down the Borison? Thank you, but it's no big deal. By the way, that young lady who just appeared, she took my sword. I'm thinking of filing a lost property report at the Realm Keeping Commission to see if I can get it back. <laughs> I doubt she did it on purpose. Uh, perhaps she's around here somewhere. Shouldn't we take a look? All right, let's not keep the general waiting. Don't worry. There aren't many people out there with that kind of talent. It shouldn't be too hard to find her. There sure are a lot of troublemakers around. 